So, WWE Elimination Chamber is over and done with. And this is basically SmackDown Live's final, spot, final stop for their road to WrestleMania as far as pay-per-views. Now, look, yes, I made a prediction video and I'm going to get right down to the results and what I think about each and every results and eat my words as far as all the results that I got wrong. But the thing about it is, it, 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 it seems that WWE tries to pull off certain swerves, but they're a little late to the party as far as when the WWE universe or the fans want certain things to happen and then it doesn't happen and then they try to give it to us later and they're like, okay, see, we, we did it for you. And it's like, we don't even fucking care anymore or it's too fucking late. No, you're not going to get any affection from us. Damn. You know, yes, as fans, we kind of ask for too much sometimes. I, I, I am one of them. I do admit that I am a part of that crowd somewhat. But, and, and okay, look, Mojo Rowley versus Kurt Hawkins at the, look, I didn't even really fucking care about that match to begin with. But the thing about it is, they just threw that match on and it's like, yeah, we didn't fucking care. Mojo Rowley did win that match, but again, there's nothing on the line. There's not like there's going to be like a title shot for either one of them and Kurt Hawkins you know, has he even won his singles match, any singles matches ever since his return to WWE? Yes, he's a former tag team champion with Zack Ryder. Big deal. But that was long fucking time ago. So now he's back and he's having this male Eva Marie type of thing going. But again, he hasn't won any fucking singles matches as far as I know, as long as he's been back. So we can't even fucking take him seriously. And he just lost to Mojo Rowley. But without further ado, these are my opinions and the results of WWE Elimination Chamber 2017. Enjoy. Well, I got this one wrong. I thought that Mickey James was going to win, but as I think about it, this result doesn't hurt anyone. All this goes and proves that Mickey James is there to put these other women over. And I think that's definitely her role right about now because are they going to give her the women's championship? She doesn't need to run. Maybe they'll give it to her a little bit later on when she's on her way out of the fucking door. But I don't see I don't see her actually, you know, being a big ass impact player as far as saying, "Okay, she's going to win every match. She's going to challenge for the championship. She's going to win it." Um she lost by a roll up which I can understand why they went that route. Her being into this armor and tapping out, I don't think that would have been, no, that would have been right. But yeah, she lost to a roll up. The match was, eh, it wasn't, it, 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 look, the thing about it is this had the capabilities to be the match the night. It did, but it wasn't, it, it just wasn't. So the result, I'm not too mad about that. I can understand Mickey James losing to a certain degree. I'm just surprised that it actually happened. I didn't think that Becky Lynch was going to be on the rebound so quick. Because now it's like, alright. Again, she hasn't vanquished Mickey James yet. So I thought that Mickey was going to win. And then Becky was going to vanquish her later. But apparently, look. This is a feud that's going to be happening for a little bit. But WrestleMania is right around the corner. And we have no idea what they're going to do with the Women's Championship. Especially now. And I'll get to that in a bit. But, Mickey James, hey, she lost by a roll-up to Becky Lynch. Perhaps this is going to move forward to, I don't know, Becky getting the belt back sooner or later. She was the inaugural champion, and now, yeah, she's kind of falling off to obscurity. I hope that doesn't happen, but we just got to wait until, where do they go from here, as far as that, as far as this feud, and as far as Becky Lynch. But, Becky Lynch, she won by a roll-up. And that's it. I was wrong about that. Well, what do you know? Dolph Ziggler loses a handicap match against Kalisto and Apollo Crews 
and nobody freaking cares because as this result is panned out it's like all right did anyone expect Dolph Ziggler to win or have a chance he snapped and he's been losing and he's been like look he's been losing before he even snapped and now he's losing even more after he snapped again and after the match it's like okay look we understand that you're sad and frustrated and that you need chairs in order to vent out your frustration so is Apollo Crews injured is it going to be an injury angle because after the match yeah he took chairs to Kalisto and he wrapped the chair around Apollo Cruz's fucking legs and and stomped on it and stomped on it and stomped on it and it's like eh we don't we don't care we don't yeah and the crowd or the crowd reaction was mediocre at best because it's like all right yeah we 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 don't care we it's like look Dolph is not going anywhere he's not going to any mid card championships he's not going to be going to the world championships he just lost a handicap match with two people that are not even considered glorified mid carders at this point so it's like Look, he lost, oh God, he lost against Apollo Crews on an episode of SmackDown. And Apollo Crews isn't going anywhere in his career as of right now. So as far as taking Dolph Ziggler seriously, I just don't. So him losing this handicap match against two faces and Dolph Ziggler is not a quality heel to be an actual threat, a total dominating threat. I didn't think that he was going to win this match and he lost. Oh well, he lost to the ah, powerbomb to fucking Apollo Crews after Kalisto tagged him, and it's like, all right, yeah, mm, yeah. And after the match, when he did all that, it's like, yeah, mm, yeah, mm. And it, it doesn't really fucking matter to me. It just doesn't. So the handicap, yeah, Dolph is a handicap career right about now. So he lost the handicap match, and I'm not at any way, shape, or form surprised. I'm just not. Dolph Ziggler loses, duh. anyone think that uh any other tag team besides maybe the usos had a chance to win this tag team championship turmoil uh any hands at all i, I look i want to look comment below if you actually thought that anyone else had a chance to win this tag team match again as i said in my prediction video and a couple of smackdown review report videos that Look, I'm surprised that we still have a tag team division at this point because we've barely seen them. We've barely seen any tag teams. We've barely seen any tag team matches unless they were just clusterfucks all over the place with all the fucking tag teams on the roster, which three tag teams that we don't really give a fuck about because they don't have a chance to get any tag team gold and we can't take them seriously. It was funny because the Ascension was last to come out in the tag team turmoil. And I'm like... You can't even pick the bones of American Alpha now. And it's funny because the Ascension was so good at NXT and then they got to the main roster and they went to shit. It's just hilarious. It, it just is. So American Alpha retains the Tag Team Championship. Once again, I predicted that because I didn't see any other team taking this belt. But I did say if Bree Zango, Vaude Villains, or the Ascension won the Tag Team Championship, I would be absolutely fucking surprised. But, close but no cigar, American Alpha are still your Tag Team Champions. Go figure. That was just, I think that's the only option at this point. They should just get a long, lengthy reign. But, then again, what other tag teams can come up for us to take any match seriously besides you know, DIY, and you know what, I'm not even going to go into that, but American Alpha retains once again on this card, duh. This was another match I didn't care about. They tried way too hard in order to, for us to get emotionally involved in this match. And we are just not emotionally involved at the slightest. Yes, they always take jab as, jabs at each other with words and announcing shit that we already have said over and over again about Nikki Bella and, something, and things like that. But again, the match was just like, ugh, we didn't even get a fucking result. We got a fucking double count out which most likely this feud will continue. The only good thing about that is Nikki will not be any type of contendership for the Women's Championship unless they throw her in with a big clusterfuck at WrestleMania for the Women's Championship of SmackDown. 
I don't want that to happen, but that's a high possibility. Now, I'm not for this feud at all, but what are you going to do? You're going to separate these two and they're going to go to bigger and better things. You know, as soon as Nikki separates for this feud, it's like, eh, where is she going to go? Natalia, is she going to go for the women's championship? Again, more on that a little bit. But I didn't really care about the match to begin with. I did pick Natalia and I was wrong. It was a fucking double count out. So basically, either both of them won or both of them lost. It really doesn't fucking matter because no one fucking cares about this. Either you, it, it, look, take it, let's take this seriously by action. Good action. Not predictable garbage action. Not by words. Quit the words. Tear each other to bits. Put on a classic match. And then we could fucking take this seriously. But other than that, no. I just don't take this seriously. And most of it is because of how they treated Natalia over the years. And Nikki Bella as a whole. Double count out. I don't care. I just don't. Do you care? Comment below. I would like to hear why. I would like to read why. But double count out. <laughs> It's meaningless to me. Now, what I said about this match is very, very simple. I didn't think that Randy Orton was going to lose because he has his pit ticket punched in for WrestleMania. And for him to lose would basically kill any of his momentum. Okay? He pinned John Cena on SmackDown with shenanigans. And he just beat Luke Harper. I didn't think that Luke Harper stood a chance as far as saying that Luke Harper was going to beat Randy Orton cleanly. Now, again, this had the freaking capabilities to be the match of the night. And it just, it, the match wasn't even all that long. It, it's just, you know, they basically shortcased a couple of things and Randy Orton wins. Again, with them basically Xing Luke Harper out of the Wyatt family and he can actually go in the ring, but it's fucking sad to see Bray Wyatt and Luke Harper go permanently their separate ways through uh, some sort of face turn or tweener, and then Bray Wyatt is still where he is, and he has Randy Orton. I, I don't know. I, I just don't know. But anyway, Randy Orton wins. I picked that. I am not surprised about this result at all. But the sorriest point is that where does Luke Harper go from here? He's actually good in the ring. Bring back Eric Rowan, have them be a tag team, and go for the tag team titles. If you do that, fine. But Luke Harper is just stuck in limbo right now. And it's fucking sad because he's actually a worthy fucking talent. Randy Orton wins, and he has his, once again, his road is clear to WrestleMania to challenge the champion. Let's see where they go. Honestly, I didn't think I would have to do this. <laughs> All right, I was wrong. I'm eating my fucking words. I didn't think this was ever going to happen. Not in this era or any era because of how Naomi has been. Throughout the years, the Funkadactyl, the Team BAD, that's when she should have got the championship and didn't. They wasted that. They wasted that. And now since the rosters are split up and you barely have any women to contend, now, now of all times, and especially during WrestleMania season, they give her a women's championship, the SmackDown Women's Championship. Think about this. If Naomi would have been on Raw, there would have been no chance in the fucking highest place in hell for her to get this any women's championship. Charlotte, roadblock. Nia Jax, roadblock. Fucking Sasha Banks, roadblock. Bailey, roadblock. There would have been, oh, she would have got past Alicia Fox somehow, but no, this wouldn't have happened on Raw. The only way that this is happening is that it's on SmackDown Live and the mediocrity of the fucking roster that they have. But this is typical WWE. First of all, 
why did they give it to her like this? Is she going to lose it this coming Tuesday? Back to Alexa? Or to somebody else? Mickey James? Hmm. Or did they just say, okay, it's Black History Month here? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't fucking know. But, yep, I was wrong. Words. I, I, I'm Pac-Man in these words because I'm eating my fucking words. I didn't think it was ever going to happen. I was fucking wrong. Wrong. Dead wrong. I got this prediction all fucked up, but that was just me. I wonder if anybody else caught this. Did, I want to know, did you think that Naomi was going to win the championship or any championship in WWE? Please comment below. I would like to know. But once again, I'm eating my fucking words. I'm holding myself accountable. I was fucking wrong. Naomi is your new SmackDown Women's Champion. I never thought I would utter those words in, in, with saying Naomi and Champion in the same fucking sentence. But it happened. I'm eating my words. Once again, I was wrong. Hate to say, huh? Hate to say, what? Stomp them in the nuts. I'm going to stomp them in the nuts. We'll stomp them in the nuts. We'll stomp them in the Oh, my God. Holy shit. Look, I was on a podcast with Blaze and Melfunsky, and we talked about this. We talked about Bray Wyatt actually maybe winning the Elimination Chamber, but we did not think that he that, that WWE was actually going to go with this. I even made a prediction that Bray Wyatt was the only one that made sense out of Everybody that was in this fucking match, besides Cena, when Bray Wyatt eliminated John Cena, cleanly, I might add, I was like, holy shit. And it was just between him and AJ Styles. Bray Wyatt is your new WWE champion. It's about fucking time. The only problem is... Is that, of course, him and Randy Orton are about to cross. I would be delighted if Randy Orton loses at WrestleMania, courtesy of the Wyatt family, Eric Rowan and Luke Harper. I don't even know if that's going to happen or not, but I will give credit where credit is due. WWE actually pulled the fucking trigger on Bray Wyatt to win this championship. I thought that this should have happened a while back. I thought that he should have won Money in the Bank. But he did it in the Elimination Chamber during the fucking match with no element of freaking surprise as far as saying that, okay, he was in the match at the last minute and we're just going to give him the championship. Wow. Just wow. The only thing about it is Cena tied the record of Ric Flair with, for his 16th and now that was just a waste. But we know damn well he's going to get his 17th. Soon. Now, with, with with that being said, is Cena going to throw his hat into the WrestleMania as a triple threat match and use his rematch clause? Or is it just going to be Randy Orton versus Bray? I, I mean, now, now the predicament is it, it, it's very, very convoluted, but it's still strong to a certain point. They went a route that I didn't even think it was going to happen. When I made my predictions. But I threw them out anyway because I followed common sense. This was a surprise to me. Now, the the whole pay-per-view was pretty solid. But at the same time, I'm just blown away because of those couple of results. Yeah, most of the results, I was like, yep, predicted that. Yep, predicted that. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Uh, double count out. I didn't even fucking care. Wow, Mickey James lost. Oh, that's something. But... Oh, yeah, tag team turmoil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the Ascension is last. American Alphas can be. Wait, wait, wait. Does Ascension have a chance? Nope. American Alpha can help it. Whoa, a new women's champion? What the fuck? Uh, wait. Uh, what? Bray Wyatt? <laughs> that was basically my fucking reactions to this. And again, I, I'm, I'm very, very fucking surprised. I didn't think that they were going to go this route. Bray Wyatt is your new WWE champion. Congratulations. It's about fucking time. He's got the whole world. Look, that should have happened months ago. Maybe even years. Because Bray Wyatt has only lost to a couple of top people one-on-one -on -one 
you know, fucking cleanly, you know, the the usual suspects, Undertaker, Cena, Roman Reigns, he, he's, he's beaten most of the people on the fucking roster cleanly as far as former world champions and stuff like that and even in tag team matches and anything like that. But, look, again, I just hope that they go to a sensible route, have him retain at WrestleMania because he would mean more as a champion if that fucking does happen. But now that is their dilemma, WrestleMania. What's going to happen between here and there and beyond? Is Are they going to keep it on Bray? Or are they just going to say, Oh, Cena, you know, he just lets you borrow this. Oh, wait, wait, it's WrestleMania. It's time for Cena to take you back. Cena and Orton, we don't need them as champions anymore. We need someone else that we can take seriously so they can build up. Face and heel. We need that. So, I'm, look, I'm surprised. I even predicted it and I'm still fucking surprised. So what did you think about the event and what do you think about my report here? Am I full of shit as far as saying, okay, about what I said about Naomi or not caring about Zach, about fucking Kurt Hawkins and Mojo Rowley or not even really get, giving a bright damn about the tag team turmoil or anything like that or not even giving two fucks about the fucking Natalia Nikki situation. Look, I would like to read your comments because I'm always up for a debate about wrestling. And don't forget, click that like button, click su subscribe, and yes, have to eat my words. Nikki SmackDown Women's Champion, but Bray Wyatt winning the WWE Championship. <laughs> bravo, bravo to that. So, drop kicks, body slam, strong motherfuckers over top rope, both feet hitting the floor. Yes, I'm a wrestling fan. <sighs> wow, just wow. This is the theme, and I'll see you later. Credits.